health insurance is compulsory. And someone asked, what is the difference between the private and the statutory health insurance? So private health insurance is private Krankenversicherung. Statutory is the Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung. The difference between the private health insurance and the private health insurance and the statutory health insurance are one with the statutory health insurance it is deducted from your your wages okay from your salary at the end of the month you pay a percentage your employer pays a percentage you good so this is one thing about the statutory health insurance they also, that is the basic one. Almost everyone has it. I think about 80%, at least 80% of the population has the sedentary health insurance. Okay. So, and then the, diff and the, and the next thing, the next thing that is different from the private health insurance is that with the sedentary health insurance, if one member of one parent of the family is gainfully employed, or is employed and he's paying his contributions monthly, he can cover the family, his spouse who is not working and the children for free. So for example, I am with Technical Krankenversicherung. I would then be working, if my husband isn't working, I would be working, but my insurance would then take on my husband and my two children, and my two children. Or if it's the other way around, the husband is working, the wife is a stay at home mom, then, the husband's health insurance would cover the wife and the children without any additional cost. Just what comes out from the father's um, salary and what, from what his in, employer is paying. Okay? So, usually the Krankenversicherung is for employees. They usually do that a lot. Good. And with the basic insurance or with the not basic but with the statutory insurance you can actually go to most doctors or any doc well most i have to say most doctors because not all doctors accept it so or not all doctors are allowed to be working with the statutory health insurance so you, most doctors when you go you just show your card and most of the services would be free you don't have to pay on top and for people who are having children, this is really good because kids get sick all the time. You don't have to pay out of pocket every time you go, all right? Except, of course, you have to buy some medications. With some medications, you pay the five euro to tell along the additional payment. Or sometimes if it is on a private recept, that is if the prescription is a, they write on a private prescription with the, on the green prescription paper, then you have to pay the full price. So it depends on what the doctor thinks is in your case all right it is from the contribution that you pay to the health insurers being technical crankcase auka bama on survivor there are so many of them it is from they would then pay the the doctors and other service providers okay so you usually pay just the two salon but it is not all the services that are covered so for example if you are somebody who has the if you go to the doctors or to the dentist for a full for a full dental cleaning care they would not cover it but that is around 170 uh, no 107 euros 120 euros you do that one time in a year you have to cover that yourself one thing about the statutory health insurance or the gesetzliche Krankenversicherung is that you can combine it with the private Krankenversicherung, okay? So your basic thing is the gesetzliche Krankenversicherung, but then you can have add-ons like supplementary services or supplementary options like you can because for example i just talked about the dental care that is not included or not all dental care services are included you can then have a contract that would cover these particular ones all right and the amount that you pay your contribution is based on your income so it is your income that will determine how much your contribution to the health um, health insurance provider is all right that is with the main difference between the statutory health insurance and the private health insurance with the private health insurance it is not based on how much you earn but your age and your medical condition or how you are at that time that you that, as you are applying for it 
Also, you can only get into the private health insurance if you cross a certain threshold. It is adapted yearly 2024. You have to be earning more than 5,775 euros monthly to be able to qualify for the private health insurance. People who usually go for the private health insurance are high earners, civil servants, and self-employed people. The One of the differences between the private health insurance and the sedentary health insurance is that with a city with a sorry with a private health insurance you have to pay for each member of the family extra so it is not like the sedentary health insurance that you are all be paying for one person but it covers all all the family members but each family member costs more so you are paying per head but with most insurance companies they don't allow or they don't accept or they don't charge children as much as they charge they charge their adults so children's contribution um, amounts are much less than the adults ones okay and usually as I said with the study tree you show your card and that usually is you paying for it because your insurance company is going to be paying for the services with the private health insurance most of the time you have to pay out of pocket before the insurance company insurance company would reimburse you that is another thing so you have to have money at hand to be using the private health insurance one thing about the private health insurance is that once you have entered into the private health insurance it is very difficult for you to opt out okay it's either you have stopped earning above that money that i just talked about in that particular year but even then it's it's very difficult for you to get or to opt out of the private health insurance so before you get into the private health insurance please think properly about it like where are your options and your and the factors in your life before you get into the private health insurance i hope this explains the different types of insurances that we have or health insurance that we have in germany if you have any other questions about life in germany do not hesitate i'm here for you we'll talk about it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye